<laughs> What's the first feeling like when you've take off and you've and suddenly you 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 know you exit the atmosphere and you're in space? What what like can you even describe that or is it? Is I mean, too much I can going try. On? I, I can try. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on, definitely, but uh, I, I can try. Well, so let's see. Well, first of all, what does it mean to get to space, right? I mean, it, it's not like a border where it's like, okay, now I cross the border into space. So uh, what we typically talk about is to get into orbit. And, and what we mean by that is, you know, your, your, uh, your rocket has left you up there. And, you know, the rocket is gone. You've used all your rocket stages. You're separated from the last stage, which is the third stage. Um, and 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 you're left with your little capsule and your crewmates orbiting around the Earth, and 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 that's what we kind of talk about when we say we got to space, um, and that goes really fast. I mean, the, a rocket launch is only, uh, at least for a Soyuz, is about nine minutes, wow. not even nine minutes. Um, so it's it's a wild ride. It's uh, it's a lot of uh, noise and vibration and kicking and jostling, and um, you know the the stage is separating and and uh, you know. All the the fairing separating, um, so it, it's 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 a very dense nine minute process over which you have no control. By the way, you're yeah. pretty much along for the ride, <laughs> and it's really cool. I'm actually in space. <laughs> yeah, wasn't there a great moment where where I think it was Terry? Someone turned off the lights, and you were able just to he, he experience. Did. He pointed out that the sun was rising, and we saw our first sunrise, um, which is just. Magnificent, yeah. um, and and then when we went into night again, we're flying around the Earth every hour and a half, so we are we're going on that all the time in and out of uh, night, uh, and so, you know, it, for the first time, I actually spent some time looking at the at the night sky from up there, and he suggested we turn off the lights so all the stars would really come out. I was just amazing because it it just brought me back, you know, it just connected me to. The, the child that I was. And, you know, I used to look at the night sky from this little village that I grew up in, which was also magnificent because, again, you you, you grew up in, in the mountains. There's very little light pollution. And so that night sky was very present in my childhood. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm out here. I'm even outside of the atmosphere. And it's, of course, the stars are not any closer, right? But it feels subjectively like, you know, you got a little bit closer and... Uh, it's very special. Um, when you get to the ISS, I, I love the story of you saw it for the first time up close and you said, oh, my God. And then someone said, you don't say, oh, my God, because you Shut still up. think there's a massive problem. 